Tomas, you ask a very controversial question. The question is, can we download our consciousness into a chip and have that chip being stored into a computer and basically have our personalities last forever? We would be immortal. Well, first of all, that raises a question. Who are we anyway? If I have a tape recorder that has a little bit of intelligence and it begins to answer questions the way I would answer questions, and I'm sitting here with that tape recorder, is that really me? What happens if that tape recorder becomes increasingly more sophisticated and can begin to pick up nuances of my personality? Here I am, I am me, but here I am sitting next to this tape recorder, which sounds like me, has all the interpretations and nuances of me, but it's not really me at all. Or is it? Are we nothing but a bunch of neurons with a certain programming and a certain code? Well, first of all, you ask for a timeline. I personally think that this is going to take a lot longer than we expect, simply because our brain architecture and the way we deal with situations is different from a digital computer. Computers we have today are digital. They compute in zeros and one. They have subroutines, they have programming, they have software, they have an operating system, they have a CPU. Our brain has none of these things. Our brain has no CPU, there's no programming, there's no Windows software, there are no subroutines, there's no programming at all in our brain. Our brain is a learning machine. It encounters tasks and then learns how to overcome these tasks one by one. So that's going to be the basic problem. Simply digitalizing information, that's easy. We can simply scan information into a computer. But you see, our brains learn. We learn to adapt new ideas. We begin to learn new tasks and new, and new things. And that's going to be a lot more difficult to replicate by computer. So I personally don't think we're going to see that in our lifetime. Music